When I found out that I had gotten my job here at Oakland Community College, I felt like I won the lottery. I love teaching college students, and I think that's where my, you know, my strong suit is. For example, in my macro class, we were talking about inflation. So you talk about what it is, the prices are going up, it rots your money, but then what we do is we try to show them how it applies to the real world. And so what I always do is I bring Babe Ruth back from the dead. We talk about that in 1931, his salary was $80,000. And we talk about the fact that, you know, his salary is now would be the equivalent of $1.2 million in today's world. And so we have, a, you know, a lot of fun with that and things like that. You just have to know where to look. Fundamentally, supply and demand hasn't really changed since, you know, they, you know, they were teaching and talking about it in the 50s. If I were going to give advice to anyone that wanted to major in economics, one of the things that would make you successful is, you know, to not be nervous about math. You don't have to be, you know, in Calc 3 or anything like that. You simply just need to read a, a graph, supply and demand, things like that is your critical important. But I have seen my students go on to do incredible things. I have one former student in a very prestigious law school. I have students that transfer every year to the econ department at a very prestigious school in Michigan. My students are bright and they work hard. They really are a great group of students.